I was going to say good evening, but I think uh, I'll, I'll actually say good morning. <laughs> so what a great day to be in Saskatchewan. And I want to begin by saying thank you to a number of people here. Um, first of all, to, to all the people of Saskatchewan, all who uh, went out and exercised their democratic right to vote uh, and voted for a strong economy and a bright future in our province. Thank you once again, Saskatchewan, for placing your trust in our party, in the Saskatchewan party. And thank you for electing a majority Saskatchewan party government. I want to say a, a quick thank you to uh, a, a number of friends, um, community members, voters, supporters uh, that are stuck it out. A number have left as we're uh, late evening and there's school tomorrow and work tomorrow and everything, everything else. But I want to say thank you uh, to all of the voters across uh, Roster and Shelbrook for re-electing myself as your MLA, sending uh, me back to Regina to the Legislative Assembly as your voice within the provincial government. The support that you provide uh, myself, uh, my family, and the honour that I have in representing each and every one of you uh, each and every day that I have had the, the opportunity to do that. I appreciate that more than, than words could ever express. And so I want to say thank you uh, to the community, all of the voters of Roster and Shelburne. And of course, and I say this often when we're in Regina, but no one serves in public office by themselves. They only do so with the love and support of their families. Um, so I want to say thank you to uh, my children, uh, but most importantly, uh, thank you to my wife of now 31 years. Uh, <laughs> never do it without you. <laughs> thank you as well to our Roster and Shelburne campaign team uh, that is uh, delinquent, uh, one MLA throughout the campaign as we travel uh, the province. Thank you to Patrick Bundrock and all of the uh, Saskatchewan party team that is at headquarters and thank you to the small group of folks that traveled across the province with me uh, in what is now affectionately known as the truck. I want to say a thank you as well to all the candidates from all the parties that ran in this election. Whether you were successful or not, thank you for putting your name on a ballot. It's no small thing to put your, your name on that ballot, your name on a line sign, and to put yourself out in the public arena. To stand up and say, you want to represent your community, you want to represent your neighbours, and you want to represent your friends. And so I would say to each and every candidate that put their name on a ballot uh, this election, I appreciate the fact that you did that, and I thank you for doing that. And I also appreciate the family that you have that supported you in doing that. And I want to say as well uh, that I would, I would say thank you to each of the party leaders for what they have done, not just over the course of the past month, but for the course of their time as a leader. And I want to single out uh, Carla Beck for the very strong campaign that she ran. And I want to thank uh, not only her, but thank her family as well that supports her in the work that she has done uh, each and every day as opposition leader, um, but also the work that she does as leader of the NDP party. She ran a, a, a strong campaign and credit to Carla Beck. Specifically as well, I would like to thank all of the Saskatchewan party candidates and through them, their teams, their supporters, the volunteers, the door knockers. We achieved uh, this campaign a level of volunteer participation that I've never seen before. And so to each volunteer on a Saskatchewan party campaign, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. We knew when we started this campaign that it was going to be a challenging campaign. Recent history has not been kind to incumbent majority governing parties uh, in this nation um, or around the world. Uh, we saw what had happened in British Columbia, New Brunswick and, and Manitoba a short while ago. But we also believed that we had a message and we had a record that we could be proud of. And we knew that we had an outstanding slate of candidates that would work hard to bring that message and that record to the doorsteps across this province. And each of the candidates that ran for the Saskatchewan party, they did that in an incredible way. And I thank uh, each of them and I thank the families that supported them uh, behind them. This was a much closer election than what we have seen in quite some time in this province. Just over roughly half of the voters voted for the Saskatchewan party. And there's another half of the voters that voted for someone else. And I would say this, that I've heard the message that was delivered here this evening. And the Saskatchewan party will be a government that works for all of the people of Saskatchewan. And now some may allude to tonight's results as uh, 
means that we are divided in this province, and I would disagree with that. Because I know, regardless of who you voted for in this election, you did so because you wanted what was best for the province that we know, love, and live in. And in this, I would say, each of us is united. So tonight, I want to say uh, a couple of words to each and every Saskatchewan resident that voted in this election. First, to the thousands of Saskatchewan voters that supported the and re-elected the Saskatchewan party. Thank you for your ongoing support. 17 years ago, you elected a new government in our province, and tonight, 17 years later, you voted to re-elect that very same Saskatchewan party to govern. Because you know and believe, as do I, that Saskatchewan best day, Saskatchewan's best days are still ahead of us, and you believe that the Saskatchewan party is the best choice to lead Saskatchewan to that brighter future. So I thank each of you. <laughs> Now to the thousands of voters that may have supported another party in this election. With the commemoration of 80 years since, the, um, since D Day this past summer, a place where our forefathers fought and so many made the ultimate sacrifice to defend our democracy and to f defend the very right that we have in this province and in this nation to vote and thereby collectively elect a government. I say thank you to each of you that voted in this election and took part in that great democracy and showed honour to those folks that fought those battles. And <laughs> and I thank those that supported or voted for another party this election for the message that was delivered tonight. I've heard that message and our team has heard that message and we must do better. And we most certainly will. When you look at the results tonight, there are many people who voted for the Saskatchewan party in the past, but chose not to in this election. We have lost your support, whether it be due to uh, the management of health care or education or, or the cost of living pressures that we're all feeling in this province and across this nation. All of us in government, and it starts with myself, we're going to take a little bit of time, we're going to reflect on the message that was sent here this evening to reflect on just what exactly that means. And you have my word that we are going to do that. And we will strive, we will strive to earn back your support. We have heard on the doorsteps and in our communities that your expectations of a government is of a government that will do better when it comes to accessing health care services. Your expectations is to have a government that will do better in supporting our children in their, in their education. A government that will do better in representing you. Tomorrow, we're going to go back to work. And we're going to do just that. In, <laughs> and I would provide an example. In 2007, for uh, those of us that can remember, we had in this, pro in this province the longest surgical wait times in the nation of Canada. By investing as a government, and by focusing on the results, by 2014, we had the shortest wait times in the nation of Canada. Well, what we need to do is bring that type of focus to all that we do on behalf of you, the people of this province. And in that focus, we are going to ensure that people in Saskatchewan will be able to find a family doctor. People in Saskatchewan will not have to wait too long for their, for their surgery. We will ensure that the people in Saskatchewan will be able to access mental health and all too often subsequent addictions supports, uh, recovery supports. And we will ensure that families feel safe wherever they choose to live in this province. And we'll also get to work on delivering on the election platform that we had put before the people of Saskatchewan, keeping the promises that we made to each and every person in this province in the, in the election campaign that we had just came through and working, to, working more broadly to achieving the the targets that we had set out in our Saskatchewan plan for growth. We will keep Saskatchewan's economy growing and we will continue to focus on creating new jobs and opportunities so that our children can stay here. And so that we can have the resources to ensure that we can make those investments right back into those classrooms and into our, our health care operations. So on this evening, in a very challenging time for incumbent majority parties across Canada and, and around the world, it's not lost on me or it is not lost on your Saskatchewan party team that you have provided us 
with the honour to form a government in this great province for a fifth consecutive time. That hasn't happened very many times uh, in Saskatchewan. In fact, it has happened three times and it hasn't happened since 1960. It's also not lost on me the message that has been sent this evening to our government, to this fifth term government. There is a message that has been sent and I'd say that that message has been received. We are the Saskatchewan party and thanks to the voters of this province, we are still the Saskatchewan government. And our pledge to you this evening is that we will always work and focus on what matters to you and what matters to the people that we represent across this province. And tomorrow, we are going to get back to work, building a strong economy and a bright future for everyone that lives here. So thank you very much to everyone that has joined us this evening. Thank you to the people of Saskatchewan, and God bless our great province of Saskatchewan. Thank you. Woo!